Hello and welcome back to part three of Ballroom Hair, how to create the classic gel wave. In the previous two videos, I covered how to create the ultimate high shine and the other video was how to create the classic low bun. I will link both of these videos above and in the description box below just in case you miss them or you'd like to refer to them. Hopefully you will enjoy this video as much as you did the last two. Today's video is going to be all about the classic gel wave which is currently on trend but actually quite difficult to do. So if this is something that you're interested keep watching and as always I'm grateful for a thumbs up. My model's hair is quite thin and very fine and in hindsight I should have created a bigger section of hair, ideally parting above the middle of the left eyebrow back about five to seven centimetres. I use my middle finger generally as a guide and then I part with a diagonal line from the middle of the opposite eyebrow, so the right eyebrow, to meet the parting at the back so it's kind of triangular in shape. To compensate, I decided to crimp the hair as this gives it more volume and therefore more hair to work with. Before we begin, there are some important points to note. Number one, the wave needs to cover the hairline. The closer you pull the wave down towards the brow, the more dramatic the look. Two, try to do the wave in one go and then perfect it afterwards, otherwise you'll end up with problems. Three, providing the wave hasn't started to set, if it does go wrong, just lift the whole thing up and start again because the more you try to fix it, the worse it will get. If the gel has started to set, you will have to wash it out and start it all over again. So it's really important to get the wave laid down as quickly as possible and then do the perfecting afterwards. When you're doing a gel wave, especially if you're a beginner, do the hair before the makeup because if you do mess it up and you have to wash it out, at least you're not gonna destroy the makeup in the process. And just make sure that your parting lines are neat, tidy and straight. To create the gel wave, you will need a lot of gel for this. Please don't underestimate how much gel you'll actually need. Now I've used Silhouette and Shockwave's hair gel mixed together and I've mixed that on a mixing palette. And then using a hairbrush, apply the gel from the root of the hair to the very ends of the hair. Make sure you coat the top and the bottom of the hair, making sure that every strand is saturated by the gel and then massage the gel into the hair, trying to keep the section of hair as flat as possible. Use a brush or a comb to help you if you need to. If the hair starts to separate and form strands, this basically means that you don't have enough gel. So add more until the hair stays together like a piece of flexible plastic and basically molds together like a sheet of hair. You will know when it's right, so keep working the section, keep adding more gel, keep massaging the gel into the hair until you have this sheet-like piece of paper. And once you've got it there, you'll know it's right, um, you'll feel that it's right, you'll see that it's right. And once you've got this texture, it's so much easier to work with. So make sure that you persevere with that. Once you have your section of hair and you're happy with it, either hold it between your thumb and index finger or your index finger and your middle finger, a bit like a pair of scissors. And this will help the hair to stay flat as you're styling it. The first wave has to come down towards the brow. So with my right hand, I'm sliding my fingers towards the brow, pulling the hair with me and pressing it down and shaping it at the same time. Switch hands and this time pull in the opposite direction towards the crown of the head. Press it down and repeat until you have waved the whole section of hair. Make sure you keep the spaces between the waves as small as possible so that they're quite tight together. Ideally, I would have liked mine to have been closer, but at the time, Tia was growing out a fringe which made it harder for me but as always you have to work with what you've got. You can see here I've got some gapping in my first wave but like I said to you at the beginning of the video don't worry about it the most important thing is to get the wave laid down. We can go back and perfect that kind of detail afterwards and in fact you'll see me um, just do all the perfecting in a minute once I've got this wave lay down and basically stuck to her head. The 
gel wave is finally laid down and it's now time to perfect it. To create some height at the front, we're going to pinch the hair at the root to create the lift and adjust the wave accordingly. Use the tail end of your comb to incorporate the baby hairs into the lift. And you can see here, I'm using the tail end of my comb to just smooth over the waves. I've got rid of that gapping that was occurring. I'm able to extend the length of the wave further down towards the brow and just basically smooth and perfect the wave as I go. Finally, we want to create some nice ridges in the wave. So we kind of want to pinch the wave. Now I'm doing this by pressing the comb into the wave and that in itself is gonna create the ridges. And these ridges are what are going to give the wave some texture. You want to aim to achieve three waves. Now there are a couple of factors which will determine the space that you need between the waves. One is the length of hair and two is the size of the forehead. Long hair will generally have tighter waves and shorter hair will need to be more spaced out. And also if somebody has a larger forehead, you will obviously need more hair to cover it and create the right proportions. Once you've finished perfecting your wave, you then just need to set it. So spray it with hairspray and then use your hairdryer on the cold setting. Now, if you want to, you can secure it with pins or glue it down with something like Elmer's glue. And there you have it, a classic gel wave. Congratulations. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. And if you feel that you got value from this video, I would love it if you gave it the thumbs up. And of course, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on those notifications. Anyway, let me know how you get on. And if you have any questions, comments, queries or confusions, then leave them in the comments box below. So guys, until next time, stay safe.